But everything is on pause as long as the sun is down. It is too dangerous to continue any search and rescue efforts while it's dark. All of the debris is too catastrophic to to sift, to sift through. And they mentioned that this area is very rural. They have a lot of wells that have uh, collapsed. And so it was uh, they're waiting for daylight to start the search and rescue efforts again. And I'm sure a lot of people are waiting on pins and needles, hoping that their loved one will be found or identified. People are calling in from out of state, hoping that someone has identified their loved one if they haven't been able to get in touch. Cell service has been spotty. Uh, power outages have been rampant through this area where the tornado hit. The National Weather Service confirmed it was EF3 damage in parts of the county down here for a tornado that came through about a half mile wide. Uh, where we're standing, uh, the damage is still a little farther away. Once the daylight starts coming up, we'll be able to survey more of the damage. First responders and those National Weather Service teams will be out here to survey that too. We'll be getting an update in about half an hour. The Sheriff's Office is set to give us um, an update, uh, but about a about a, an hour from here in, in Eufaula, there seem to be even uh, just as bad damage. Uh, it, it's about an hour south and uh, take a look at, or let's, let's listen to the mayor uh, uh, of how he's talking about the damage there. It, it wiped out all the hangars. Uh, there's not one standing. And so uh, probably 30 hangars there. And, uh, it's, uh, it's amazing the, the amount of devastation that uh, normal storms can do. It's crazy how these uh, tornadoes can devastate an entire area, hop over a place and then devastate another area an hour away. Homes in both places completely flattened. Some just slid off their foundation. We are uh, about to get an update from the sheriff's office. We'll try and bring you that live. But in the meantime, Liza Lucas is over at the bridge uh, monitoring all things social media. Liza, what's the reaction around this? Christy, we just pulled up a post from Smith Station Fire and Rescue. First responders asking for prayers for Lee County, talking about their friends and neighbors have suffered terrible losses and will need support in the days and weeks ahead. Here's another image that's such a striking one, the tornado damage at Beauregard, again in Lee County, a picture from Courtney Harris. And this one, as you mentioned, Eufaula also seeing damage a little farther up the road from where Christy is. Meanwhile, Cairo, Georgia, check out these images that have been coming in. Gina has a picture of her dad's house. Fortunately, he is okay. And that's not the only one we're seeing in our feeds. We'll continue to monitor here at the bridge.